are here with Bob Roth. He is the meditation teacher to the stars. He's worked with Katy Perry, Michael J. Fox, Jerry Seinfeld, Hugh Jackman, and that is just to name the two of a you. few. Yes, the two of us. Thank you very much, Bob. You do know your audience, and you really got me excited. This was the greatest gift you gave me, George, when you introduced me to this man right here who has a new book, Strength in Stillness. Please welcome Bob Roth. I mean that. I really do. Uh, I know there was a time that was something was really crazy going on in the studio and I was losing it I look at George and he was just so calm and I said I want some of that and he said <laughs> it's you and talk about meditation and how uh, the, the analogy to an ocean well first of all it's not me it's the technique the technique is what works but I appreciate that I like to use when I describe transcendental meditation I like to use the analogy of an ocean we know that an ocean can be very turbulent on the surface but by its nature, an ocean is very silent and calm at its depth. And the mind is the same. The surface of our mind is that active, gotta, 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 monkey mind, all the millions of things we have to do. And every one of us has a desire. I like to have some inner calm. I, mean, I like to have some inner equ equanimity, equi equilibrium. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question is, is, is there such a thing as an inner? And if so, how do we get there? And transcendental meditation is a very simple, natural technique that gives effortless access to the stillness that lies within. You keep using the word technique, and it's one of the things I liked best about the book, is it really captures your voice and the way you approach yes. people. And I think a lot of people, maybe watching at home, might think, oh, transcendental meditation yeah. sounds like a religion. Yeah. I'm never going to be able to quiet my mind down. But as you say, it's a technique. How did you feel when you... I well, mean, I, I, that's what I was like when you came in to me. I said, listen, I'm not sure this is going to work for me. It's a, I, I don't want all this metaphysical no, stuff, great... but I would love to learn how to find some peace, find some calm. And that, I mean, I am by nature a very skeptical person. I don't just, I love science, I love practicality. So in that way, you would think I'm not your typical meditation teacher. But I think that whole understanding of a typical meditation teacher needs to be brushed aside. We're talking in Transcendental Meditation, a medical tool that can just give anyone access, whether they believe in it or not. You can be 100% skeptical, and anyone can learn it, how to allow the active thinking mind to just access calm. And when that happens, your body, according to research, gains a profound state of rest. And you say it's what the mind wants. Yes. The nature of the mind, that's the interesting thing. There are many meditations, and I think many people, when they think of, oh, I could never do it, I could never clear my mind of thoughts. When I heard that someone said, okay, Bob, clear your mind of thoughts. I said, all right, then I'll create peace in the Middle East, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, really. But in transcendental meditation, we just effortlessly access these deeper, quieter, calmer levels that are already there. And it happens effortlessly because the nature of the mind is to be drawn to something more satisfying. And inside, most satisfying. But also, it's like to have no expectations. And everything in life, we have expectations and intention. But when we meditate, it's just the opposite. But one thing that people are very concerned about, time. The time, yeah. the amount of time. Does it well, have to be the 20 minutes? There's a great thing. I, I told this story. Uh, I told this story. A man, a man came into the office with his 14-year-old son, and he was complaining. He said, oh, I want to do this, but 20 minutes twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Who has the time? And his son, who must have done the math, said, Dad, there's 1,440 minutes in a day. Mm -hmm. You don't have 40 minutes to take care of yourself. <laughs> so it kind of shut him up. And he learned to meditate. And the thing is, you like it. You look forward to it. It's not yeah. hard work. How and do you? I actually think, think it actually. I think it creates time. Yes. I think if you invest so? 40 minutes a day, you go through the rest of the 22 hours, whatever, 23 hours, feeling more calm, more focused, more connected to everyone around you, and that that's yeah. that's invaluable. It's who we are when we're not stressed. Stress is just, you know, it like sticks to us. So you do this first thing in the morning, you get up 20 minutes earlier, and people say, are you kidding? I need my sleep. But I this know. Is... When you said that to me, I don't yeah. know. Are you nuts? <laughs> but you know, when you're getting up, you're getting more rest. Yes, it's deeper no. than sleep. And so you do it first thing in the morning, and it just, it's an investment. You're more resilient, you have more energy, more focus, you get things done faster, more efficiently, and you're enjoying it. It calms you and energizes you at the same exactly. time. It's, it's the oddest thing. Yeah. Okay, give us a quick little uh, quiet time. Okay, so about. as I said, to learn transcendental meditation, it's taught in personal instruction, I wanted to say, one to one. I don't have the time to do that here. But the first thing that you have to do when you meditate is you close your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are many meditation techniques that tell you to push out thoughts this isn't. So it's just the simplest thing if you just close your eyes for a moment. Everybody do that. Do that. And then just know 
When you learn this technique, mm -hmm. we will give you a, a, word, a mantra, which is a word or a sound, and teach you how to access the deepest level of your own being. And when you do that, your body gains profound rest and you come out energized. So you can open your eyes now, but just mm -hmm. know that the simplicity of closing your eyes, then you learn this technique from a teacher and it can transform your life. That is true. Bob, thanks for coming in. Mm. For our, our, our crew here to do this for us, and we're so grateful. But you can bring it home with you because Strength and Stillness, it is out now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.